The overall goal of this procedure is to catheterize the jugular veins and carotid arteries of rats to infuse glucose and lipids as a model for chronic nutrient excess. This is accomplished by first catheterizing the jugular vein and carotid artery under general anesthesia. After the procedure, the rat is allowed to recover for six days. Then, the catheters are connected to infusion pumps through a tether and swivel mounted on the cage top. Finally, the rat is infused with glucose and lipid solutions. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show the effects of chronic nutrient excess on glucose homeostasis. The the main advantage of this technique over other models, such as genetic models, for instance, is that one can examine the early changes in beta cell function in response to nutrient excess. The other advantage is that one can specifically modulate the levels of glucose and intralipid or lipids in the circulation. Now, we use this technique to examine changes in beta cell function, but of course it can be used to uh, look at other uh, physiological parameters such as insulin resistance, for example. Demonstrating the procedure will be Grace Ferguson, an animal health technician in my laboratory. Prior to beginning, sterilize all surgical instruments by autoclave. At least 16 to 24 hours before the procedure, place the cannulation tubing into 2.6% glutaraldehyde for sterilization. Using four rats per infusion condition, weigh each rat and then calculate dosages for the analgesia and anticholinergic drugs. After